Hi, this is Latasha with Redwood's Assistive Technology Resource Center in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. Today we're doing a little video on the little step-by-step -by, -step by AbleNet. Let's take a look at how to record it. Let's take a look at the back of the little step-by-step. -step. The first thing you'll notice is that the recording instructions are right on the back of the device. So if you don't remember everything we've gone over here, it's okay. All the instructions are there for you. You'll see a record button here. That's what we're going to do to get into the record mode. The next thing is the on off and volume knob. Here the click to turn it on, keep going to turn the volume up. You also have jacks here for your switches and your toys. So if you want to activate your favorite toy using the step by step, you can do it. If you want to use a different switch, you can use that too. Okay, let's take a look at how to record. First thing I want to do is make sure my device is on. That's why I'm turning that knob, make sure we're in good volume and that we're on. Let's press the record button to get into record mode. I know I'm in record mode when that red light comes on. Each time I press the button down, I want to speak my message. One, two, three. When I'm finished, I'll press the record button again to go out of record mode. Now that I'm out of record mode, I should be able to hear all of my messages back in sequence. One, two, three. As you can see, each of our messages is a different button press. So now that we know how to record the step-by-step, -step, what are ways that we could use it? What about telling knock-knock jokes or reading stories? Those are things that have the same message in a sequence and they're repeated. So if I'm reading the book pages out of a story, each page might have its own button press. That's a great way to do things together. As opposed to being read this story, now we're reading the story together. One thing I want you to know, this is a little step-by-step, -step, but they also make them in bigger sizes. They make a big step-by-step -step that has a switch that's five and a quarter inches in diameter. So if your client has a hard time pressing the smaller button, they can use this one. Take a look at the website for AbleNet. It's www.ablenetinc.com. They've got 101 ways that you could use your sequential message device. I hope this helps, and if you need any help, please give us a call. Redwood, 859-331-0880. Thank you.